So we are going to cover one of the most amazing book on cell discipline that will achieve in 10 days. So many of the of you must be thinking, can I actually improve my cell discipline in just 10 days? So the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Let's start. So we have to meet Hyde. That is the greatest obstacle to our self-discipline because we have more than one side of ourselves and one side is inner conflict. Whatever we do, we face an inner conflict and that side of our is called Hyde. And this is the greatest obstacle of us in achieving self-discipline. So these are some of the beliefs of Hyde that I will become slave of to routine, I will lose my freedom, I will lose a sense of fun, I will down into the sea of responsibility, I will put too much pressure on myself. So we must remember the Hyde is a part of us that never wants self-discipline. We know that whenever we start anything, the most difficult opposition we face from within. Understanding Hyde is very important, so we should not allow Hyde to block our efforts. How your inner self, how your hide controls your life, it is having five favorite techniques for poisoning your efforts. Now we'll see how hide poison your life and what are antidotes to it. So hide has five favorite poisons. One is cynicism, negativism, defeatism, skepticism, and delayism. So it is cynicism, negativism, defeatism, escapism, and delayism. So we'll see it one by one. Cynicism. So cynicism, your hide will question the goodness and value of everything. You will say that you are good for nothing. There are two type of cynics. One is external cynic and other one is hide that lives within you. And external cynic can be your friends, pessimistic relatives, loser, co-workers. They can be external cynic. But your inner cynic will go everywhere with you and cynicism is contagious. So your hide must be telling you right now, you can't learn a self-discipline from a book. Uh, all this self-help stuff, stuff is a lot of bluff. Nothing happens in a life. A life keep on going in the same pace. So we must remember, this is not you. This is hide telling you all this. So a part of you does not want self-discipline. The name of the part is hide. And our hide is, it is master cynic. It has master the art of negativity it has mastered the art of questioning everything the goodness of everything value of everything so your hide will say it's too complicated to learn all this uh, self discipline is it too easy to have any real value it is too difficult to complete blah 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 so your side your hide will never let you do anything in your life because it's this master cynic that it question the value of everything, question everything. So how you can challenge your hide? One answer is concrete self-talk is the first line of defense against the hide's efforts to tie you to the old ways. So hide will let, not let you change. Hide will, let, hide will just allow you to be what you were just now, what you were. It will never allow you to change your life. So concrete self-talk is important. So the moment Hyde starts talking about these things and bring out his cynic behavior in open. So you have to talk to your Hyde. You have to talk to your Hyde and tell him that I'm not letting you overpower me. The first time you kill your Hyde, first time you challenge your Hyde side of yourself, you will feel a kind of strength. So there will be surge of strength when you challenge your height for the first time. So one of the answer to counter cynical behavior of height is concrete self-talk. That you will have to talk to yourself whenever these kind of thoughts come to your life. Another behavior of height is negativism. Whenever you try to do something good, height will draw your attention toward everything unpleasant about the world, about the person, about the places, about the thing. It will always look towards the negative and will tell you, see, this negative thing is happening. How can you think about positive? So when Hyde uses this strategy to divert you from your self-discipline improvement program, you will find yourself saying, why bother? Let it be. Why should I bother about this program? What will I do of self-discipline? My life is going good. So this is your Hyde is doing to yourself. Whenever you think of, whenever you think of doing something good, 
what your height is going to say see your shoes are so tight your underwear is so tight and the environment is so polluted there is a constant threat of war any time we can die there is our cancer causing food additives in everything you eat there are food additives there is a cancer causing causing element in that and the planet is dying so life is tough and then you will die so what is the point of improving your self discipline so this is the argument of your hide if you want to do something it will take you away from your that thing so you have to understand the behavior of your hide so hide will tell you why are you doing this dumb self discipline exercises if you can't answer to this question if you can't counter your hide this means hide has overpower you so one it happens that you cannot answer your hide so hide's half work is done because your brain will now search for the reason to support the negative attitude your brain always support the negative attitude so hide questioned you what will you do by studying there's nothing to worry about we have to die one day so what your brain will do brain will search for the same reason to support your negative attitudes so your subconscious mind does no way evidences and then evaluate your claim so it will continue reinforce the negative attitude you just thought right and this is how you create your attitude and behavior what you tell to yourself your mind your brain will say that self discipline program will not work and really it will not work if you are having this kind of negative attitude so we have to counter our hide because you must remember a part of you does not want self discipline so another question how can we counter this negativism of our height so we must remember one thing attitude has everything do, to do with our success regardless of the task at hand no matter what task you have to perform if you have a positive attitude towards it then you will be successful regardless of the task whether it is hard or easy so we must counter this height that is within us that is countering our efforts to achieve self discipline so we all know that for some people this glass is half full and for others it is half empty it's all depend on our attitude how we see towards the object so it's all depending on your attitude we must remember that we create our own attitude and attitude influences our behavior and a positive attitude to your strongest possible antidote to hide tactic of negativism so we'll have to counter hide negativism with your positive attitude so hide will keep you from multiplying your power of self discipline you will not be achieve your self discipline because hide is working within you hide will do so by reminding you all that wrong in the world so whenever you will try to improve your life whenever you try to do something good with your life hide will remind you all that's wrong with the world so we need to counter hide with the positive attitude positive action so we can choose our own attitude and your attitude will have to see whether it is working against you or it is working for you so the choice is your believe it so kind of attitude you gonna keep either it will work towards you it will work for you or against you it will all depend on your attitude so we have seen two attitude of hide one is cynicism and negativism and if they both get married and they got a baby and the name of the baby is defeatism so using defeatism hide will say to you maybe self discipline is program may be good but probably it won't work for me i am not smart enough to understand this stuff i am too smart to be held by this lame stuff i am too young hide will try to convince you that fault lies within you your personally that you cannot learn it because there are fault within you personally so i will try to convince you so that's why you cannot learn self discipline because there are fault within you that you somehow lack the ability to turn this system into reality that you cannot learn self discipline because there is a lack you are lacking there are the fault lines in in with you within you so hide will try to convince you that so hide will attempt to draw on your enthusiasm by pointing out all your perceived shortcomings that use them trick to you to the self defeat so hide will use all this trick for you to self defeat so that you get defeated by yourself there will be feeling of insecurity and low self esteem and you will give up on yourself and either you will work half heartedly 
that all benefits whatever the benefits you might be getting will be minimized because of the efforts of the height so high uh, how height will defeat you how you try to convince you that you cannot do that because you are different i will say you are different right and it will link it with another attitude right that you will not succeed because you are different you cannot succeed so it will attach with any other irrelevant quantity availability for example it will uh, link it with any other relevant quality available for example your race your sex your religion and will turn into a tool for self defeat so we must remember the height a part of you does not want self discipline so what is the antidote to defeatism so we'll have to believe in our ability to profit from the knowledge that will profit from the knowledge and self discipline book will work for you you will have to believe in the ideas in this book will work for you you have a strong belief if you want to counter defeatism attitude of your hide will self believe you will say to hide that nothing is going to stop me so believe in yourself and coupled with self discipline is a winning combination believe it so in order to counter hide you must have your belief in yourself then another tool is escapism so developing self discipline requires self knowledge that why we are not disciplined there must be some reason behind it so we'll go for the self examination and the activity that sometimes invokes anxiety in you you don't want to self examine yourself there will be many emotional stone buried in your subconscious and there will be event and situation that you have just leave buried you buried you don't want to think about it right how about those stone contains the key to why certain part of you refuse to cooperate in your self discipline efforts until we self examine ourselves we cannot understand that why some part of ours is refuse to cooperate in our self discipline efforts we can't be self discipline because there is some part within us and in order to understand that we require self knowledge about ourselves so you will dig out all the exciting provoking stones it is very important in developing self discipline so there will be some of the exercise in this book that will learn and that will help you unearth and deal with the few of the stones and you will experience some of the discomfort when you will unearth these stones and your hide will say you don't need to be that psychological you need not to do all that psychological stuff hide will point out all the important task immediately that you should be taken care of anything other than doing self discipline exercise hide will try to take you take your mind away from this exercise hide will say why don't you go and eat the slice of pa- pie on the fridge why don't you make a phone call to your friend okay you can go to watch a television so hide will try to divert your attention whenever you will try to develop the self discipline another thing is escapism that we are just saying so hide will coax you toward another activity for example you are want to develop self discipline hide will say chill chill go go and read something else so it will instead of providing some it will provide some sort of escape from this activity hide uses escapism masterfully hide is quite good at employing this method of self defeat as we always remember we should always remember that a part of you does not want self discipline So, what is the antidote to escapism? So, believe that the life, for the most of the part, is based on cause and effect principle. Our life, action are the causes, and result of your action is the effect. So, we know that self-discovery exercise will cause some of the discomfort in you, but that discomfort will quickly transform into a wonderful feeling of accomplishment as you experience the success that result from the newly acquired self-knowledge. So, you will be successful. so when you are feeling no it it will be burdensome you have to feel that it will bring a successful that will will bring a experience of success, success and accomplishment and these successes will continue throughout your lifetime so when you find yourself attempting to escape the discomfort of self examination by pursuing a diversionary activity or hide throws a carrot before you you have to ask yourself is this just a tactic to sway me away from the path of the self discipline so we know the proverbial carrot dangling on the stick is chased by a donkey is often refers as an ass 
so we should not we don't let hide make one out of you so don't let him make fool you don't let him make make you a donkey so delayism i will do it later it is one of the hide's favorite sentence i'll do it later so hide is success if uh, you leave the program this hide is succeeded in putting the hurdle between you and your goal you will saying okay i'll do it tomorrow okay i will do it tomorrow it's nothing a big deal i will do it later so it is one of the hide's favorite sentences that is to delay you and another delaying tactic is i don't have time everybody is have 24 hours a day no more no less so you'll have to talk about your priorities for example you're doing your work suddenly you watch a video on youtube you will keep on watching the video right you will scroll scroll you scroll youtube you will forget that you have to study so next time you do that you have to remind yourself that your hide is doing it to yourself like it's a delay delaying tactic of your hide because you must remember a part of you does not want self discipline so what is antidote to delayism so every time you delay something you have to ask yourself whether this delay is working for you or against you and if it is doing against you it is working against you then it must be constantly addressed if high tactic of delay is to be neutralized we must tell ourselves that program can succeed only if we exercise are actually completed not just through about and uh, we will start using the new knowledge about the self discipline you will actually enjoy doing things on time rather than delaying we must believe it so we have seen hide's five favorite poisons cynicism negativism defeatism escapism and delayism so there are the five major method hide used to sabotage your self discipline efforts and it hide defeat you by self defeating form of self talk we must remember that hide constantly use negative self talk to sabotage you in other words you will find yourself transmitting negative messages to yourself when you need your most need when you need the most to be self supportive of your efforts you need to be self supported of your efforts but your hide will transmitting negative messages to yourself a part of you secretly working and doesn't want this program to work hide will provide hundreds of counter productive reason and action for you not to work but you if you listen to the part of you that desired self discipline then you will soon discover the rewards joy accomplishment and the self discipline has in store for you we must remember that we should not think hide as an enemy hide is unruly child that is living inside you and that has no self discipline no self restraint and has no ability to delay gratification it is just like a little kid hide will be very manipulative to get what hide wants do not crush this side of yourself you will simply end up being walking mass of inner conflicts you must remember hide side of your personality is responsible for your playfulness and creativity so you can oh, you can won over your hide side by cooperation and compromise but not by combat so you don't have to fight with your hide side because it is not your an enemy it's a little kid that has no self restraint no self discipline no ability to delay gratification but for now you will do well to recognize that positive self supportive self talk is a most effective first step toward countering the hide frauds so now if you if you want to counter the hide then you have to overcome hide manipulative negative messages by replacing them with the positive messages so we'll have to consciously talk to ourselves about it the more you do the better you will become any regularly practiced thought feeling or behavior soon become a habit so you are here here you are about to learn one of the most powerful tools in your self discipline system you will use it for yourself for the rest of your life